Hey, what's up everybody? Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add your BIOS files for Bodicera version 38. So at the time of this video, Bodicera version 38 came out just a couple days ago. So it's still very new for a lot of people, a little bit confusing if you're new to all this stuff. So I'm going to walk you guys through the entire process today. I'm going to show you guys where to download your BIOS files, how to download them, how to extract them, and how to move them over to your Bodicera setup. So for today's video, I'm going to be using a USB flash drive. Very simple process there. If you're a little bit more advanced and you're used to all this stuff, then you can also move your files and folders via Wi-Fi connection if you have two completely different setups. So if you have a regular PC and then you have a PC designated for your Bodicera setup, you can establish a connection between the two and seamlessly transfer everything over live right through your Wi-Fi connection. I'm not going to be doing that today because I'm using everything on the same PC, just in different SSDs. So if you are interested in establishing a Wi-Fi connection to transfer files and folders, I'll put a link in the description of this video that walks through that entire process just with an older version of Botticera. Still the same process in the end, just with a different version. So let's dive into this and start downloading our BIOS files so we can dive into our favorite games and game collections. All right, guys, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to click the link in the description of this video or right here at the top of your screen to the download link for the full pack of BIOS files for Botticera version 38. And you're going to come to this screen right here. What you're going to do is you're going to click download right here, this little orange button. And you're going to come to this next page here. There's going to be some advertisements. Just go ahead and click here to download the file. And you'll see that it started to download up here in the top of my downloads list right now. So it may take a couple seconds for this link right here to populate in and allow you to actually click through. But you can see right up here, it's going to take me about, it's counting down pretty quickly. So I would say about 10 to 15 minutes at the absolute most for this full pack to download. And it's going to download in zipped format. So let it do its thing. We'll come back here once this is complete. All right, guys, so everything fully downloaded. So I'm going to go into my file explorer down here at the bottom of my page. And if we go to our downloads tab, we should be able to locate it. And there it is right at the top, full pack BIOS Bodicera version 38. So this is right now a zipped file. And you can see that right over here for file type. So you're going to want to extract everything. Best way to do that is obviously to unzip it. Now, I like 7-zip as my tool to extract things. You can use whatever you typically use for extracting and unzipping. So I'm going to be using 7-zip. So I just go down. I right-clicked on it, drop down to show more options. And then I have a 7-zip tab here. I can just slide over and click extract files. It's going to ask me basically to confirm where I want to extract to. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. So we're going to let it do its thing here. It says here three minutes, then it goes to two minutes. It really should take you just about 25 seconds at the most to fully extract everything here. Uh, obviously, different computers are going to do this different speeds, but here you can see I'm already down to 13 seconds for remaining time. So it's a very quick process to extract everything. There's really not a whole lot jammed in here. So very quick process. We'll let it just complete here. And now you can see I have the extracted version down here. So we no longer need to do anything with the zipped version. We're just going to go and double click on this one right here. We'll double click again. Now inside here, there's a couple different folders. We have first a text document here, which is the um, info page. And if you open this up, you can use notepad. I'll actually open it up for you guys because I believe this was put together as it says here by the mini cake TV, which is a YouTube channel. I actually subscribe to these guys or this guy. I'm not sure if there's multiple people or just one. I think it's a European channel, but um, I didn't get this directly from them. So obviously their stuff is being redistributed. So it's always good to give credit to, um, you know, whoever organizes this stuff. So there it is right there giving them some credit here. But we have a BIOS folder here. We have a saves folder, system folder, and ROMs folder. So inside ROMs, you can see it adds in all of these new collections here. Um, now, we don't need to necessarily go in and replace all of these. All I'm really looking for is the BIOS folder. Um, you can add these if you want, but I believe if you start messing around with saves, say that you went in and you updated your system from like version 36 or 37 to 38. If you go in here, you may lose all of your saves because this is going to overwrite that. Don't quote me on it 100%. I'm not really brave enough to give that a try because I do have saves on my existing build right now. So all that I'm going to do is move over the BIOS folder here. I'm not interested in these. If you want to move those over, if you have a fresh build of Bodicera 38 with nothing to lose, 
go ahead by all means, move everything in here. Obviously, you don't need this uh, PNG file or necessarily the info file here either. Um, you can go ahead and move all three of these. I'm just going to take the BIOS folder though. So I'm going to simply right click. I'm going to go down to show more options and I'm going to click on copy. So now that we copied that, I'm going to take a USB flash drive and I'm going to connect that to my computer right now. And you can see that jumped in right over here on the bottom left corner where it says Samsung USB. So I'm going to go down here to my Samsung USB flash drive. And this is how I'm choosing to go about bringing these in. You don't have to do it 100% like I'm doing it. If you want to connect to your Bodicera setup remotely through your Wi-Fi connection, I actually have a video that walks through the entire process there. So you could actually go ahead and do this copy and paste right here directly to your Bodicera build as long as you're not sharing the exact same computer for that setup. That's my issue right now. I'm on the computer that I have Bodicera on. I just have it in a different drive that I have to boot to. So I'm gonna just go with the USB flash drive route. It's simpler for my particular setup. But again, if you wanna go in through Wi-Fi connection or you're just even interested in that process, it is a really convenient way to add ROMs, to add BIOS files, um, to do all kinds of different things like that. So I'll put a link in the description of this video if you are interested in learning more about that process. But for me today, I'm going the flash drive route. So here I am inside of my Samsung USB flash drive. I have a couple other folders in here but this one's gonna to be totally separate. It's gonna be the only thing labeled BIOS. So all I have to do is right click, go to show more options, and then just simply click on paste. It's going to paste in all of the contents of that BIOS folder directly into my USB flash drive. It's gonna take, it says right here, about 60 seconds or so. We're already at 16%, so we'll let it do its thing. And we'll come back here once it's done, but you can see it's already created the BIOS folder up here. It's just adding all of the files within that into the actual folder now. All right, guys, so that just completed. So if we open up our BIOS folder, you can see a list of all the different BIOS files and additional folders within here. So we are good to go. All we have to do at this point is we just need to simply X out of this. We're gonna take our flash drive and we're gonna jump into Bodicera now. So I'm going to jump over there and we'll move the flash drive directly into that as well. All right, so here we are inside of Bodicera 38. Now, this is a build that I had on Bodicera 37, and I just updated everything within Bodicera. So I have all my games and game collections ready to go, but a couple of the collections will not run right now because they don't have the updated BIOS files yet. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add in everything that we added to our flash drive. So take a keyboard and hit F1 on your keyboard. That's going to bring you into this right here, which is your file explorer for Bodicera. Now from here, you're going to connect your flash drive to your PC. And right over here, you can see Samsung USB flash drives populating in because I did just that. I connected it to my PC. So locate it now on your left column. I have mine right here. And inside here, we have our BIOS folder that we added previously. So if we double click on here, you can see we have access to everything within here. So we're going to just go ahead, we'll back out of this. We're gonna just simply click on BIOS and we're going to drop down to copy with our right click. So click on copy. And now what we're gonna do is on this left column, we're gonna go up to the top where it says share. Jump in here and you'll notice that the first option is BIOS. So we can actually replace the entire folder here and it's going to overwrite what we already have. Now, if you're coming in fresh to Bodicera 38 and maybe you haven't done anything previously, you haven't set up any collections, you haven't even added in your BIOS files anywhere previously, then you're gonna go ahead and just simply right click like I'm doing right here and click paste. Now, if you just are updating from a previous version, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna do something different on the next step. So bear with me here, we're gonna go ahead and click paste. So right here it says there's already a file with the same name in this location, we know that already. So we're gonna go down to the bottom right corner and we're gonna click on overwrite. Now it's gonna ask us another thing, as it goes through and starts adding the contents for us, because I'm coming from a previous version, I already have probably 95% of the BIOS files already set up on here. So I don't need to add everything necessarily. So I can either overwrite everything and start over from scratch, or if I want this to be a little bit of a quicker process, I can choose to skip what I already have. So it's not going to overwrite whatever I have previously. It's only going to add the new stuff. And this is where if you're coming in here fresh, you won't even have this option because you don't have anything yet in your BIOS folder 
for Botticera because you're starting literally from scratch. So you can go either way. I, there's going to be absolutely no difference in the end for me, whether I go in here and overwrite everything, or if I just go down here to the bottom left corner and hit apply this option, all existing files, and I just click skip. I'm going to do that just because I know that all my BIOS files were added in here correctly on my previous versions. So I'm going to skip everything that I already have. And all it's going to do is add in those new Bodicera 38 files that I have not yet added in here because I just updated. So I'm going to hit skip. And now it's going to go through and literally that quick, it added in everything that I don't already have and skipped everything that I already had previously. So we can go in here now to BIOS and we can just double check, make sure everything looks good. Now I know what I'm looking for here and I can tell you that everything is done properly in here. So we can now go over to file, close window. So now that we're back in regular Botticera here, go ahead and hit your space bar or if you have a controller, go ahead and click the um, start button. You're gonna open up your main menu, go into game settings here and now hit the first option under tools, update games lists. Confirm it with yes, it's gonna update everything. And now if we go to GameCube, which before was not working, it was throwing an error right off the bat because I didn't have the updated BIOS. If we go and we jump into a GameCube game, like let's go into Nightfire, for example, we're not gonna get any error messages. It's going to launch us right into the game because we have all of the necessary BIOS files now to continue with Botticera version 38. And there we go, we're jumping right in, no error message, no issues on screen, everything is perfect, smooth sailing from this point on. All right guys, you can see in the end, everything worked out perfectly. We were able to start diving into those game collections that were giving us some issues before because we didn't have those updated BIOS files. So everything worked out perfectly. Let me know how the experience was for you guys though on your end, did this work out well for you? Did you get into all your favorite games in the end? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the content today and you found everything helpful, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to hit subscribe to stay in the loop for all future videos. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for the support. I'll see you in the next video.